Hi guys, I'm Soumya and welcome back to Dash of Delight. Today I'm going to show you how to make perfect high protein and super easy peanut butter at home with all the tips and tricks. Store bought peanut butter may contain added sugar, unhealthy fats, refined oils and even preservatives. So making it at home gives you absolutely natural, wholesome, organic and way more cheaper peanut butter. Healthy fats found in peanut butter helps to maintain good cholesterol, blood sugar and blood pressure. So come let's see how to make it. Take 2 cups of peanuts. Try and take organic peanuts but if you don't have, no worries, the normal ones will also do the job. Now here comes tip number 1. Make sure to thoroughly check your peanuts once. None of them should be either rotten, spotted or blackened. If you find any, pick them out. Now we need to roast the peanuts. Now here is the tip number 2. Most of the time, roasting process is really taken for granted. I mean either the peanuts are over roasted and turn blackish brown or they remain raw. So make sure you be attentive and roast the peanuts until nice and crunchy. So see I have roasted my peanuts nicely. Now the next step is to get rid of peanut skin. Well I was wondering is it really important to take out the skin as the skin has way more antioxidants than the peanuts itself. Please comment and let me know if you have ever tried making along with the skin. Alright now there are two ways to take out the skin. One way is to take the roasted peanuts in a container like this and shake it rigorously and the peels will come out easily I mean you will have to shake it twice or thrice to peel them properly and the other way which is my personal favorite method is to take any regular clean kitchen towel or cloth and dump in all the peanuts then pat it hard for 10 to 15 times the way I am doing and you will see that most of the peels will come out very easily this was tip number three isn't it the better way than the first one as you can see most of the peels are out okay now next step is to sieve it so I am doing this in a colander you can also do this by sifting winnowing or simply hand picking now it's time to blend it so take all the cleaned peanuts in a blender jar add a pinch of salt like for two cups of peanuts I have used one fourth teaspoon salt then start blending it and keep checking after every 30 seconds so it's like blend it for 30 seconds then stop and give it one stir then again blend for another 30 seconds and give a stir so you will need to blend three to four times to get that thick creamy peanut butter if you want it to be a bit crunchy you can stop at your favorite consistency and if you want it smooth and pasty go ahead and blend for one more time now here comes the fourth tip store it in an airtight container and it lasts for at least two months in refrigerator and up to six months in deep freezer now the fifth and the final tip is if your peanut butter has gone bad it will have a sour or stale smell it may also have strange color or texture so guys if you like the recipe please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Bye-bye.